I've been trying to emulate this shitty game for a couple of years now, and uh, only until now has it become properly viable. Every now and again I'll get a, a weird thread lock, which I'm sure will be fixed at some point, but all graphical issues and performance issues, are it's virtually flawless now, for this game in particular using RPCS3. As the build as of, I don't know, what's the day today? Uh, 28th, so Pro 27th when it was built. Um, and I've just been fucking around with it. Um, as I mentioned, there's a weird issue where it just has a thread lock, but, uh, apart from that, I mean, I can complete a race. And, like, it's at, it's at 60 FPS constantly locked. I'm upscaling the game to 1440p to get some, you know, anti-aliasing goodness. I feel like the game is way too loud, so I can't hear myself, but that's not a problem. I can just turn that down here. Right, that's a bit nice, isn't it? Um, apart from, like, some glitchy animation, which arguably doesn't matter once you get into the gameplay, because it's, like, non you know, it's not animated at that point. Like, scripted animated. Because um, you're controlling the ship, of course. Um, it is flawless. Oh, nearly got it. Cunt. Huh? Dipshit. But yeah, it was only a couple of years ago where this got to boot. Like this, this took a while to get booted, let alone playable. Um, and I've like been really missing my PS4 because I want to play a Mega Collection and shit. Looks like the game's treating me well. And not thread locking. It's really impressive, the team over at RPCS3. You know, particularly, you know, Nico and KD11. They've been really going at it. Mostly living on that Patreon money, but you know, leave them alone. It's genuinely impressive how good this game looks on like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's emulated, but the only difference here is uh, forced anxiotropic filtering and upscaling. There's no, there's no modifications done apart from that. Very impressive.